Welcome to this ancient Roman mausoleum known as the tomb of Cecilia Matteia. This tomb, located along the Appian Way, is hard to miss as it dominates the surroundings with its massive tower. The great tomb is believed to have been built for a woman named Cecilia Matteia. She was the daughter of a consul of Rome and was born into a wealthy family known as the Cecilius Metellus family. This was one of the most important and wealthiest families in the Roman Republic during the 3rd century BC and remained so to the end of the Republic. They held both important political seats as well as several military positions. If you compare Cecilia Metella's name to her family name, you will see that they are practically the same. Cecilia Metella was actually the name of all women in the Cecilius Metellus family, since feminine names were often taken from the father's family tree. This particular Cecilia Matea is believed to have been born around the year 100 BC. She was later married to a powerful legate to Julius Caesar. The exact reason and time of her death is still unknown. Exactly when the tomb was raised is also unknown, but it is believed to have been built towards the end of the Roman Republic, around the year 50 BC. Even though the tomb itself is more or less in ruins, it is still an inspiring structure. The tomb stands roughly 20 meters tall as the tower itself measures 11 meters, while the base is almost 7 meters. The tower is constructed by beautifully tight-fitting Tibetan stone, fixed together without any use of mortar. The upper level of the tower is decorated with a marble freezing depicting ram and oxen heads surrounded by flowers. These oxen images have actually given the area its nickname, Capo di Bove, the head of the ox. The sarcophagus of Cecilia Matea was placed in a central funerary cell within the massive tower. If you look at the cylindrical body, about halfway up, you can see an inscription facing the Appian Way. Translated, this inscription reads, To Cecilia Matea, daughter of Quintus Creticus and wife of Crassus. However, if you look around you, you will see that the tomb of today consists of more than just the cylindrical tower. These other parts make up the Satani castle. These fortifications, stretching along both sides of the Appian Way, defended this important road and thus the southern entrance to Rome. It was built in the early 4th century by the Satani also known as the Gitani family, by which they incorporated their tomb into the castle. Today, the sarcophagus of Cecilia Matea is no longer inside the tower, but has been moved to the Palazzo Farnese in Rome. Despite this, the tomb is still a very popular place. It is not only visited by thousands of tourists, but it is also a lovely picnic place for locals. A lot of people also come here to have their wedding pictures taken. <laughs>